Welcome to Brunswick Biz on ATMC TV Channel 3. I'm your host, Kat Newton. We've revamped the show and we have three great businesses starting us off. First, we meet with Prestige Outdoor Lighting, the National Property Inspections, the Nobles Professional Grounds Management. Don't go anywhere for the next 30 minutes as we connect Brunswick County, one business at a time. I'm here in the studio with Bill Rayfield, owner of Prestige Outdoor Lighting, and he works all over Brunswick County with his clients. And we're excited to have you here because I don't think we've ever had a business like this on our show. So I'm excited to show our viewers all the different things you can do. So can you first just start off by telling us a little bit about the history and how you came about? Well, we opened Prestige, my wife and I uh, own the business. Um, we opened Prestige Outdoor Lighting in the spring of 2009. Uh, we opened it because of the fact that you know we saw a, a good opportunity to provide uh, high quality landscape lighting systems to the people in, in the different communities in the area. Um, we saw you know the evolution of LED technology and um, my background as an electrical engineer uh, just it just piqued my interest. Obviously by the name it's pretty obvious what you guys do. You're an outdoor lighting company but what services do you offer? What can you give our viewers? Well primarily our, our major focus or is um, landscape lighting, uh, residential and commercial. Okay. Uh, the majority of our business is residential uh, and, and we enjoy that. Uh, we do also do a lot of uh, commercial work uh, entrances to communities, uh, flagpoles, lighting the flagpoles of the communities and stuff, installing flagpoles as well okay. uh, at, a, as a, at a residence or, or a, a community uh, park, you know, setting, right. um, amenity centers, you know, so uh, we're not limited in what we can do. Um, you know, we partner up with licensed electricians to do, you know, the, uh, the electrical work mm -hmm. that we need to. Um, so, you know, we're, we're always looking for, for new opportunities. Right. Now, you pretty up a house and you make it look really good and it's a huge benefit for people. Um, but what are some other ways that our viewers can benefit from using outdoor lighting? Well, outdoor lighting, we don't just look, when we come to a property, we don't just look at uh, the front of the house. Uh, we oftentimes will look at the backyard. Uh, because a well-lit home gives you the opportunity to spend a lot more time out in the backyard. You have a nice patio, outdoor kitchen area, um, you know, just an area that you want to relax uh, looking out over the, you know, the golf course or the, or the, the marsh or whatever. Um, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of different things we can do to create different lighting scenes. Uh, we use a lot of um, moonlighting techniques where we'll actually mount lights high up in the trees and have the lights come down through the branches uh, simulates a moonlight it's just really nice um, also from a standpoint of safety and security mm -hmm. you know uh, will light up the entrance areas um, the walkways the driveways uh, will also if if there's a lot of uh, bushes and stuff around the house we may recommend you know, putting some lights uh, going going down the sides of the house between right. the, the bushes and the house just to make it more difficult for somebody to hide, you mm -hmm. know, and try to break into the house. Uh, so we look at it from a bunch of different ways. Right. Now when you say, um, say the safety thing, now these lights come on even if someone's not home, is that correct? So if someone's correct. out of town or maybe they have a second home here and they're not here all the time, these lights could maybe prevent someone from, I guess, knowing that people weren't there. True, true. Um, there's all kinds of different timing controls. Uh, we can have lights come on at dusk and go off at dawn. We can change the timing so that it comes on at dusk, goes off at 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, change that different time, different days of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a client that has their lights come on from Sunday night to Thursday night, it comes on at dusk and goes off at 11 o'clock at night. Okay. But they do a lot of entertaining on Friday and Saturday nights. Mm -hmm. So on those nights every week, uh, the lights don't go off until maybe 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, you know? so you can change it up um, based so you on can, your schedule. You can definitely change it up. You can go as far as 
being able to have control of your lighting system through your iPhone or okay. iPad if you wanted to. Wow. <laughs> uh, it, I, it's, it's pretty. It's come a long uh, way. It's I'm come sure. a long way. With the yeah. technology. Um, now, I do want to talk about these, um, these pictures here because when you set up, um, it's, it's hard to put you know, it's hard to visualize something that you can't see yet, but y'all y'all do that. Y'all are able to show your customers what it will look like before you even install anything. And I think that was so cool because yeah. it's an intangible object that becomes, you know, that people can actually see. And I know we have here, we're going to show these on the screen to our viewers okay. um, as we talk about these. But I wanted to show here this first picture. Um, I guess first before we get into this, Tell us about how you do this. How do okay. you make this happen? When, when we first started in the business, we found it difficult to be able to explain to a customer what we're going to provide and, and have them understand what it was going to look like, mm -hmm. ultimately. So we developed the ability through a combination of me placing lights in different areas of the property and my wife using a camera on a tripod across the street or something. Uh, and I would place a light, she takes a picture of it. I move the light, she takes another picture. Then we can leave, go home, uh, take all of those pictures, put them into the computer, mm -hmm. and set them so that we can actually come back and, and sit at your table as the customer and turn different lights on and off. We can highlight the architecture of the house. Mm -hmm. We can highlight the landscaping. We can do a combination of both. We can show you what different types of lighting and lighting effects would look like. And you're actually seeing your home in different lighting scenes. That's great. Um, and it really engages the customer, gives them the opportunity to design the lighting system themselves. You know, we're just there to help. Right. Uh, basically, but they get, you know, they ultimately get exactly what they want. Right. So you have here in this first picture some lights in the front of the house. Correct. Um, um, this is, you know, uh, this is more just for, let's say, safety and security. Uh, when you drive into the driveway, you're going to, you're going to be able to see the front entrance of the house. You, you know that nobody's there. Uh, it, it, it's it's a, a basic lighting system. Okay, and then what did you add here for the second picture? Okay, now in here we just broadened the, her, the, the span of the lighting scene. We brought the lights out to the edge of the house on both sides. Mm -hmm. it, it just makes, you know, the, the lighting picture in the front of the home prettier. Right, and then here um, it looks like there's a little bit more shown on the side of the house here. Well, yeah, on, on this picture here, uh, what we've actually done is we're concentrating here on the house, not on, not necessarily on the landscaping, but we've taken five additional lights and we've we've directed them at um, the top of the house, mm -hmm. so that now you have yet a different look for the right. house. So we can just just change the entire look of the house. Okay, and in this fourth um, picture, I see the trees. And in here we're encompassing the landscape as well. Okay. Um, so we can do a combination of, of any, you know, many different things. Right. If it's uh, just a little bit on the house, a little bit on the landscape, more mm -hmm. on the house, you know. And Change this is where we actually let the customer design their own lighting system. That's you know, excellent. We just, we just give them the ability to do it okay. with our help. Well, this is great. It's a big difference between, you know, one and four, and this is all before any lights were installed. So I think that's, that's correct. That's really neat. That's correct. Um, now, this client went with the full on. The full on. Okay, yes. well, that's a beautiful yes. house. It's great lighting. I love that. Yes. So, can you give us your contact information if someone's looking to, to use you? Sure. Uh, the company is called Prestige Outdoor Lighting. Uh, our phone number is 910 612 1910 or you could reach me at uh, bill at prestigeoutdoorlighting.com or my wife at julie at prestigeoutdoorlighting.com and our website is www.prestigeoutdoorlighting.com. Excellent. So there's many ways people can get in touch with you. Correct. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. I'm glad we were able to show some of the examples that you've done. And um, we'll probably do a little recap of that at the end, just go through some of the pictures that some of the clients you've had in the past. So we really appreciate you being here and explaining exactly what people can get from you. So thank you very much. Thank you.
with Susan and Jim Jufri right here in their home, which is also the office for their national property inspections business. And we're excited to be here because when I was first doing this episode and when you guys contacted me, I really didn't know what you guys did. So I was excited to get out here and inform myself as well as our viewers about what you guys do. So Jim, can you first tell us a little bit about the business and what it is that you, that you have? Sure. Um, we've been in business since uh, 2006. We operate out of Sunset Beach. Um, I'm, one of, I'm the owner. Susan and I are the owners of National Property Inspections, and uh, we have two other inspectors that are licensed in North and South Carolina. Um, we've done over uh, 3,000 inspections up to date, and um, you know we try to. Uh, our goal is to. Uh, um, provide a client, our client, with a comprehensive report on the home that they're looking to buy so they can make a, uh, an educated decision whether to, to go through uh, with buying the home. Okay. So what would be the importance of doing this? I mean, I know people can, can buy a home and stuff without it. Is that correct? Yes. But why would, why would they need something like this before buying a home? Well, uh, that's a good question. Um, we get asked that all the time, especially when people call uh, initially. Um, it's generally for the, the items that uh, people can't visually see when they're walking through the home, looking at the home. It's the roof condition. You know, people aren't going to go up on the roof. In, inside the attic, um, I, I'm able to see uh, water stains or leaks. And those are the things that are detected in areas where people aren't going most of the time. You know, so um, it's basically it saves them a lot of money in the long run because if they just bought the home and didn't get an inspection and found out these problems, which got worse over time after living there, um, they're going to be left to deal with. Uh, it could be an expensive right. proposition. So you might as well put a little bit of money in front of buying the yeah. house so you really know what you're getting into because that could right. that could be scary if you didn't know. Right. Now, you also do um, not only residential, but you do some commercial things, too. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us maybe some examples that you've done? Yes. Well, there was a, a, a new hotel that was built over down in Southport. Um, I was there from when they broke ground. Um, usually the insurance companies uh, call me, and I'm their eyes and ears uh, on the ground, boots on the ground <laughs> kind of person. Um, to send them pictures and reports and progress reports as to uh, the status of the uh, project as it's going along. Um, I've done insurance inspections for insurance companies for, for like safety inspections for like a, a gymnasium or a, a spa. Um, I'll go in there and I'll make sure that the uh, treadmill cords are not frayed and they're not in, a, in the walking path or okay. something like that. Make sure the exit lights are lit. Mm. Um, make sure that they have a, uh, a flotation device in the pool, if they have a pool. Oh, okay. Uh, defibrillators, you know, if, they mm -hmm. have, if they're in, in they're up to date, you know, everything. Right. Uh, now, Susan, I know when we were talking, you had mentioned something called a honey-do list. Yes. And I thought that was really cool because I didn't, I had never heard that before. Right. Can you tell our viewers what that is? Sure. Um, most of the time, like Jim said, they're for buyers or sellers. But people, um, a lot of widows, widowers, they um, don't know how to take care of the home, meaning where to put their money. So we do a home inspection that um, will come in and do all the electric, plumbing, and everything Jim said, and it'll let you know what needs to be addressed. What are some safety items? Maybe something will be um, need to be repaired in a year, or it's on a five-year plan to repair your roof or replace it. And we'll come in and we'll do that full inspection for you. Um, you can use it as a honeydew list, mm -hmm. and you just check off the repairs as you need them. So instead of a homeowner being on the um, side of fixing things as they break, you will know what's coming up, and you can prepare for it. Okay, so that's kind of a, honey, can you do this? Yes. And Okay, well, that makes Usually sense. Usually the then. wife calls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really glad we got to talk to you guys yes. about this, and I would, I'd like to see, Jim, if you'd be able to take us around. I know we are in your home, when, which we're at your office as well, which is great. I'm for sure it's very convenient for you guys. Um, but if we could just take a look around and just show our viewers some examples of what you do during an inspection. Sure. All right, well, Susan, yeah. we'll be with you in just a minute, Thank but you. let's go take a look. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
So we're here now in your garage and you have a few of the many tools that you're going to show us and um, we really want to just want to see, I guess just an example because I know there's so many things you can do. We can even go through a whole inspection in right. the amount of time we have. But what could you do like out here, right right in front of the breaker here? What, what would you do and what tool would you use? Okay, well we have, this is a, uh, an electric panel. Um, basically what I'm doing when I'm taking the cover off or after I take the cover off is I'm just making sure that each circuit is energized and then I'm getting power at the, the, uh, on the branch circuits. And then another thing I check for is I use this digital thermometer and I go right down the bus of the, uh, the electric meter to see if anything is overheated or burning up. And in this case, the average temperature is about 58 degrees going down the center of the bus, which is, which is good. If there was a uh, problem with any of these circuit breakers being loose, uh, I would probably get it in excess over 90 to 100 degrees. Okay. So, you know, that's how I detect a problem uh, without actually having to remove the circuit breaker. Okay. So you have lots of other tools, and there's some really cool ones. I know there's one the microwave, and you can tell when air is coming into the house and when moisture is in the wall. And right. now you use this right here to, to enter all your information. So yes. Can you tell us a little bit about how you do this and, and what yes, you do? Yes, well, um, I have this, this rolling table that I have my, uh, my laptop on. Uh, which also converts to a tablet. So if I want to walk around the house, uh, the exterior, I'm able to put it into the tablet mode and enter the information. Oh, wow. um, what this does is it gives me um, a quick turnaround time for my uh, clients. So I'm, I'm able to get the report out to them uh, by midnight the same day. Oh, wow. Which seems to be uh, uh, time is of the essence. Usually uh, my clients only have a like a 10-day period mm -hmm. in which they need to get the inspection, the uh, survey, and the appraisal, and everything done at that time. So by having these tools, they help me uh, service my clients as quickly as, uh, as I can. Great. Well, that's very nifty. I like all these different tools. And you have a really cool tour about to see. And uh, do you want to go outside and show our viewers what that is? Sure. Let's go. So we're here outside, we've got a really cool tool to show our viewers, so can you tell us a little bit what you have here and what all it can do? Okay, well I have a, um, well, especially in South Carolina there's been a lot of um, uh, safety uh, issues and concerns that they've had and they don't want us to go up on the roof uh, physically, so um, up until recently I would just put my ladder up at the, the eaves and uh, use a pair of binoculars like this and uh, look at the roof mm -hmm. and, I, and you know you get a pretty good uh, view of everything but I wasn't able to always portray this or let my uh, client see the damages that I've seen because I couldn't get close enough to the, uh, the damaged section of the roof so uh, recently I purchased this uh, telescoping aerial mast which extends 30 feet up in the, oh, into wow. the air um, I put a digital camera that has a high uh, 30 times zoom a digital camera up here and I'm able to use my smartphone down here that is able to communicate wirelessly back and forth. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to set up the uh, pole just to show you how easy it is mm -hmm. to set up. I'll just put it right here. It's got a foot pedal that comes down and is able to support this and um, real quick you just one section at a time oh, wow. lock it into place Go with the next one, and with zoom. this, I'm able to zoom in using the uh, um, smartphone, uh -huh. and I'm able to give my client a good um, uh, bird's eye view of any. Right. So this is great, and this is just one of the many. This is probably one of the coolest tools, but there's so many things that y'all can do. Now, Susan, before we wrap up, um, can you tell our viewers uh, just some contact information? Y'all have a website sure. and a telephone number. Yes. So tell us that information. Our local number is 910-575-2171, and our website is www.nationalpropertyinspections.net. Excellent. Well, I'm sure our viewers will like, will love to use you guys because sure. this is really great stuff and I know that y'all can be very much trusted and I think Thank that's you. very important for a business. So, um, it was a pleasure interviewing guys. Y'all y'all have been yeah. so much fun to be around. So, thank you for thank being you. on the show. Thank you so yes, much. Thank you. thank you. And thank you for being on the show too. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. We're on 
Sight and Sea Watch at the Coastal Living Idea House. I'm with Larry Harrelson with Nobles PGM. And we're excited to be out here because you guys have changed some things up a little bit recently. Can you tell our viewers um, just what you've changed and what are some of the things that you're changing in the future? Yeah, I'd be glad to. Thanks, uh, and I'm glad to have you here. Um, Thank you. I guess, well, I started the company PGM back in, uh, in 1993. Mm -hmm. And so for, for all these years I've been doing this. And I was, uh, had the opportunity the first of the year to merge with another landscape company in the area, uh, Nobles Landscaping. Uh, I've known Billy Nobles, the owner, for a number of years. He actually has spent time working with me uh, over the years on various projects. And, and so we, we got the opportunity to merge and, and I felt like, uh, not that I'm getting old, but with his youthfulness, he gave us a chance to maybe take a, a step into the future and, and give us a number of years to keep moving forward in the community. We've always has prided ourselves in, in innovative landscape designs and maintenance techniques. And, uh, and then we like to keep up with changing trends in the mm -hmm. green industry and, and try to move forward with some great ideas and become a better steward of the land and a good steward of our, our uh, clients' investment. And it, it's a lot of fun. We have a good time with it. And I think with this merger, I'm excited about it because it actually gives me a chance to do what I love to do the most. Mm -hmm. And it gives me a chance to do what actually got me in the industry to begin with, and that's actually be out working with the clients, working with homeowners, working with developers, and trying to take their conceptual ideas and put a reality to them. Right. So for our viewers who might not understand exactly what all can be done with landscaping, because I'm sure you all have some pretty extreme projects and probably just some regular upkeep that you help people with, um, can you tell them what, what all can you do? Uh, sure, I'd love to. What, one of the things we've done through the years uh, Actually, when I started in this industry, it was just me by myself, and you only can do so much when you have one person with one shovel or one lawnmower trying mm -hmm. to, to carve out a living. And so I, I decided during that time frame that I'd rather work for two people instead of, instead of two or three hundred. Mm -hmm. And so I started lining up and working with some developers, and, and I was very fortunate to get with some, some quality individuals that had great insight, vision, dedication, and determination. And also we're good stewards of how, what their investment was going to be into the county and, and what they would like to, the style of living and the comfort that they would like to provide to their clients. And, and so with that, we, we moved along with them and, and picked up a few more clients as we go and, uh, and have been very lucky. So it, our job is really with the developers is to kind of, you know, work with their conceptual ideas. We work with land planners. We work with their uh, landscape architects. We work with their engineers. And we kind of take their conceptual ideas and, and kind of put a reality to them. We're usually the final person vendor on the, uh, on the job site. So it gives us a chance to kind of hear what they're thinking, look at their plans, and then we kind of really take what the land will allow us to do and modify the landscape plans to fit what nature will give us. And I'm, re I'm real big on kind of leaving a footprint that looks like we haven't disturbed something. I okay. don't want to come in and all of a sudden, I know people like to have certain, well 90% of landscaping is personal taste, so people mm -hmm. have certain selections and mm -hmm. things they want to do with their uh, their landscape projects. So we kind of help, you know, cultivate their thoughts and, and give them some different ideas on, on what to do and right. and at the same time try to head them in the direction of what will look good and blend in with the nature and stuff yeah. like that. So. Now once someone uses your services to to actually get the landscaping going at their home, do you guys maintain that or is that something that they can upkeep themselves? Oh yeah, along with, uh, with uh, landscape design and, la and landscape installation and irrigation installation, we also provide full maintenance service both for our commercial uh, clients as well as the residential clients that we have. Well that's great. Now we're here at the Coastal Living Idea House and um, y'all have done some things that are a little bit different. I know the irrigation was a little bit different and y'all have been trying to keep up with the green industry. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do to do that? Sure. In, in regards to the irrigation, um, we actually harvested the rainwater from the roof and we collected it in cisterns and then from those uh, from there, that the, the cistern is a 500-gallon tank that's at the base of the water feature. And what we do is we use that water that comes from the roof and also is collected from, uh, from, from groundwater as well, from runoff. And we use that to irrigate with. And the style of irrigation we put in was in the turf areas, we don't have the traditional pop-up sprinklers like you usually see. Mm -hmm. what, we, what we have used is um, it's uh, called Netafilm, and it's a series of grid, a grid work of of uh, tubing that goes underneath the turf and there's emitters every foot and within this grid work it releases that water 
and it will it will actually sustain the grass from the bottom up which uh, we use about 90 percent less water by doing that we oh, wow. we harvest the water off the roof and we use it and recycle that and it's it's actually worked out pretty well it's uh we're still learning a lot about it and there's going to be yeah. new trends to come along but it's been been a pretty good feature and, and fun to work with now we are obviously in brunswick county and we are on the coast so can you give our viewers some tips of how can they keep up with their yard? I know it's a little bit different than being in the Piedmont area of the state. Um, so what can they do to keep up with just this dry and hot heat in the summer and just the beach life living? I think the first thing to do, there, there's several criteria you look at when you try to, des to help plan and design a landscape. And one of it is the use of the property. Is it, is it going to be a passive landscape or a, an active landscape? Do you want to work in the yard or do you want to play golf or fish? So we try to, we try to get inside the mind and understand what our clients are looking for. Then we help them design around, around those ideas. On the beaches, it's, 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 a, it's kind of a tough place because you're dealing with renters, you're dealing with homeowners. So you try to, you try to, to look at the use of the property and see what needs to be done. From a design perspective, the beach is, is pretty difficult because you have so many different changing uh, environments out there with the wind, the sun, and, and all that goes with that. Now now that we're getting into spring, um, what are some of the plants that people might see more often? Well, the good thing about living in this area is there's really not an off-season when it comes to plant installation. You can, you can install almost any plant any time of the year you want to in this area. Uh, what you'll start seeing now is more of your spring bloomers and early summer bloomers starting to to come along. The trees are starting to bud up, and you'll start to see them flower a little bit. And it's it's uh, just a normal progression through the season. Um, people now they're starting to do more with changing their annual colors. They'll have areas within the yard where where they've they've got pockets of color that will accent entryways or or passive areas Ooh. where they're sitting on the you know on their decks or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, well, can you tell our viewers where they might contact you? Do you have a phone number or a website that would be easiest for them? Yeah, our phone number is 910-754-6373, uh, and our website is noblespgm.com. Okay, great. Well, thank you for being on the show. We we're glad that you got out here and did the interview with us, and we're excited that your business is now going to be moving forward in the beautiful weather that's soon to be here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thanks for tuning in to Brunswick Biz, only on ATMC TV Channel 3. Special thanks to Prestige Outdoor Lighting, National Property Inspections, and Noble's Professional Grounds Management. If you have any questions about today's show or would like to see a business on our show, remember it is free. Just give us a call at 755-1770. We'll see you next month for Brunswick Biz when we connect Brunswick County, one business at a time. This is ATMC TV Channel 3. We bring you the best of Brunswick. Is 6.30 too early for a get fit workout? Are your weeknights too hectic to catch the West Brunswick football? Do you find yourself missing all your favorite ATMC TV shows? Well now, you don't have to. ATMC TV is airing all their latest shows on demand. Stop, pause, fast forward, or rewind. Watch your shows on your time. Tune to Channel 1 to see shows like Brunswick Biz, Get Fit, The Coastal Kitchen, and more. Stay connected to beautiful Brunswick County with ATMC TV on demand.